All right, Robert Smitty Smith here again. I'm outside with our two training vehicles. This is Alpha vehicle, this is Beta vehicle. They have different front steering geometries. Alpha has full Ackerman, full true Ackerman. That means that in a, hard, in a turn, the outside wheel describes an angle to follow that turn, and the inside wheel turns more and the more number of degrees than the outside wheel. Why? Because it's having to turn on a smaller circle. So, this one has full Ackerman. The inside wheel turns more than the outside into the turn. This one does not. In fact, if you look at this one and measured it carefully, it's virtually parallel. This is uh, delving into the reverse Ackerman or the parallel steering. The slip angles operate a little differently in this setup than in this setup, but true Ackerman rolls the easiest, requires the least horsepower to get through the turn, has less scrub on the inside wheel, and has certain advantages. Parallel has its own thing going, and we'll talk about later when we get to caster and its effects on the loading of the tires on the ground in the different corners of the car during dynamic situations. So, parallel, full Ackerman.